I don't know. There was a lot. There was a lot <laughs> that was yeah that came to mind. There's been so many amazing conversations that I've recently heard. You know, both in the Living Miraculously program, like the the first couple of sessions, and then your conversation with Lisa, and um, just bits and bobs. It's th- there's clarity coming about, but there's still questions as well um, for even more clarity. And right specifically around money like i know it's 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 the it seems like the most resistant topic in my life but i also know it's it's um the most resistant topic in other people's lives as well especially the people that i coach so i really want to kind of really understand um everything that you speak about with in the context of money specifically so it's almost like going into what you, yours and lisa's conversation was um but I think I'm take I'm coming from a different perspective, <laughs> right? Yeah, in terms of yeah. understanding. So it'll be interesting to see, um, to see what comes about. Um. So I think the first, the first part is I, I'm starting to get a feel for understanding how creation is happening, hmm. and starting to get the distinction between effortless and effortful (laughs) um however around money there's there's not that awareness there's not that subtle there's not that sensation of being able to distinguish the two yeah um well i really like your word when you said because it was carefully chosen like that word is very accurate um i think i'm starting to get the uh distinction or understanding of how creation is happening how creation is happening that's so important the way you said that's really good clarity Mm -hmm. i'm starting to understand how creation is happening very clear that's very Mm -hmm. accurate just like that right Mm -hmm. so go now further into your questions okay so (laughs) i'm 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 treading slowly here so that i can yeah Try and be aware where where it goes off, right? So, um, so now, uh, in 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 most areas of my life, like I feel I feel the effortlessness. It's, life is just occurring, and and things are happening. Results are showing up. I don't. I'm not even fully conscious um, of how they're showing up, but they're showing up quite um, effortful, effortless, and uh, quite surprising. Um, so I'm I'm enjoying that. However, when it comes to money now, uh, there's, I heard you say something in, uh, I don't know if it was the last call or uh, the second conversation you had with Lisa, where you said there's a belief that we have where um, we have to, we have to make it happen. Like we have to do something to make it happen. And I think that's it. I think that I have a huge role in creating money. And I think yeah, that's part yeah. of what I think in, in the way there's not that allowing or that trust or that faith um, for something to help me. <laughs> it's like, I want to take full reins, full control. Right. Let me figure it out and let me do it. Like I'm, I'm acquiring all the information to be able to know exactly what to do. And it doesn't seem to be occurring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've got to go back to what you said is true. So Mm-mm. creation is happening. Mm-mm-mm. So it's happening even around money. Mm. Right? And this is the way that it's being created right now. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So it's happening and it is and it is effortlessly being created like this. Mm-hmm. Right? So in other words, you're moving and doing certain things and this creation or manifestation of money is you're experiencing the match to the vibration and mix of vibration that you hold on the topic Mm -hmm. right and so it manifests that way it gives you clarity about um how you how you are about it right and it's it's great because you can contrast to areas you're not in control and not thinking about very much that are continually surprising and delighting you with these manifestations that are just effortless right Mm. so it's 
so all of it is happening. So creating is happening uh, in all of it. And it's all sourced in you. No distinction between these two. So it's wonderful to have this clarity because you can see how this um, painting looks and you can see how that painting looks. Mm -hmm. And as you look at the two of them, you can notice your preference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And that's helpful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's, I guess there's levels of awareness, right? Because I've I've just about started seeing that I'm creating this as well. I thought this was at one point. I thought it was happening to me. Yeah. Yeah. Really very good. Um, really good. And then, and then that awareness kind of raised to see that I'm creating all of it. Yeah. Good or bad. However, I'm I'm experiencing it. Um, and then there's. And then there's there's this uh, kind of sense that I'm not fully aware of everything sure. in that well, area. Of yeah, because otherwise the why, result would be, uh, reflecting that. Awareness. Why? Why that is? Be, is uh, is really because creation is happening. Mm -hmm. We get the essence of what we think about whether we want it or not. That's the tricky part in that i used to think mm. i'm creating what i want and then in other areas i haven't figured it out yet well you're not ever going to figure any of it out because creation happens between this finite aspect and the infinite you you're co-creating with the universe so oh i get that because I get that, because I'm creating really well over here, um, but over there I'm not. I and and so I just have haven't figured it out over there. And it's no, none of it's figured out. You're never going to figure any of it out. It's it's happening. Creation is happening. You're essential to it. It's not like it doesn't need you. You're essential to creation. All creation is co-creation. All creation is the greater part of me filtered <laughs> allowed mm. through this finite part of me so all creations co-creation and how's it look i get what i i get the essence of what i think about whether i want it or not i get the reflection of what i'm thinking about whether i want it or not where I'm focused, what I think about is where I'm focused. In that vibration, I get the reflection of it, whether I want it or not. Mm. And so, so I'm creating all the time. I Well, I haven't figured it out over, over here. Don't worry about it. You don't need to figure it out because you haven't figured it out over there anyway. And you get what you want. You get that, what you want. So it's like, so you, so over here, by looking at what I, at the things that create, that delight me, all, all the clue is right there. We, we can look at that. These areas of your life that are great, what are one or two of those? Like what, what areas? Like my relationship. Like yeah. It's so it's the easiest relationship I've been in because it's the it's the relationship it's the first relationship since coming across the three principles yeah <laughs> so, and it's 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 effortless it's um there's still arguments and stuff but the understanding of why the arguments are occurring is is always present for me mostly present for me so it it never affects me the way it used to in past relationships so it's I, I'm, I'm always um, connected to the sense of love underlying any argument. Wow. So, yeah, it feels, wow. it feels, it feels I, I, don't, I don't take anything seriously in our relationship. Wow. Well, so that's kind of cool. You, you know there's an underlying energy in it and 
and it's manifesting as that relationship mm -hmm. and and it is mostly what i want it's mm -hmm. mostly the feel of it the way we interact the way we're talking is mostly as i want it to be mm -hmm. um your and and notice that the only part you're doing so there's a love underneath and then it just naturally manifests in this thing. Mm. And the part that you're doing is just allowing that to happen. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this is this is interesting because I've I've never looked at it in this way. I've never looked at how I'm being in the in the relationship or what I'm doing so as i as i look in that direction i'm kind of baffled or confused because i don't i don't feel the same kind of um cogs turning in my yeah. relationship as it is in with money it's like there's no figuring out there's, that's really yeah. a good thing to notice yeah yeah it's, it's a really good thing to notice <laughs> i do a lot less thinking on this relationship Oh my God, now that I come to think about it, I actually don't actually really think about this relationship. Okay, well, that's good. That's really a good clue right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> you do much less distortion in that relationship. So there's underlying love. I know it's true because that's the essence of that. And I just allow that to express through. I don't Sid talked the contamination of thought. I don't contaminate it much. So it just kind of like comes through and then it just comes through. I really like it when it comes through. Well, of course you like it. It's a co-creation. What do you think? This wasn't like somebody grabbed a relationship off the shelf. This is a good one. We'll give this one to run. You're the one who created this thing. What, mm -hmm. The only problem is you don't realize how you created it, but you created it because of all the bad ones you had. Mm -hmm. That's what you don't realize. You created it because of the bad ones you had. You created it from a clarity of... I don't want this. This is too much work. I don't like this fighting and I don't like this kind of arguing. Mm -hmm. And that's how you created the relationship. In each of those moments, the greater part of you heard what it is that you do want. And it became that. Your inner being became that. And it's been flowing that through you the entire time. Some way, somehow, you just got off the subject. And now it just comes without thinking, without very little contamination. And it comes and you go, this is fantastic. Best relationship I've ever had. Because you created it. <laughs> you did. Because I, I, if it was some other relationship, you go, well, it's kind of okay. But I wasn't really wanting that. I was wanting this other thing. No, it's the one you created. Like you just don't realize how you created it because the way you created it was every time like, well, I don't like this and I don't like that. And I don't like this other thing. Fine. Infinite intelligence takes every unique preference of yours in an energy swirl that is ideal. And by the time it delivers it to you, you go, wow, I'm, this is amazing. Like, of course it is. You put every little bit of it in here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's true. The I guess there's no uh, you know when I look at it the the relationship I'm so baffled because there's no thinking or intellectual kind of understanding. There's just this flowing, and I don't necessarily fully understand how that's occurring, how that works. Um, whereas the the bad stuff, the stuff that's not going my way it feels like I'm the one responsible for that. And right, right. to be, I am the, like, because I'm thinking about it. I'm so consumed in it. I'm so, yes. my attention is so much on it. So I feel the experience of that. And I feel the connection of 
um, thinking and creating that. Um, yeah. Whereas the no thought, it's it's weird. It's almost it's almost like um, the gates are just open and I, I don't know where and it's it, going to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah wow. Open. Yeah. It's the gates are open. See now, no control, and I don't know where it's going to go. No control. But who cares? It's like this is going in a good way. <laughs> Like, yeah. this is this goes in a good way this is yeah. and and by the way the better it gets the better it gets the better it gets and the more you kind of like let it go mm -hmm. the more you stop the more you get your hands off of it trying to control it by mm -hmm. the way you have a real mastery there because i like what you said you said doesn't mean we don't have arguments doesn't mm -hmm. mean we right well of course because what you the mastery you have is that the moment it starts to move, you get the essence of what you think about, whether you want it or not. And now you sense unwanted. I don't want that. I don't want to be arguing. I don't want to be in a fight with this. The minute you sense that, you're not interested mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. So the personal thinking remains... And then you catch one once, like, well, they're just wrong. Like, they, they, they don't respect me. They don't, they don't realize how hard I work, right? So this thought, it's this minor thought. And then it picks up a momentum. And pretty soon it's like, yeah, they, I should be uh, more appreciated. I don't think I'm being appreciated. And it goes and it goes. And then you're like, yeah, that's really not that interesting a thought like for me to be right because you can tell the feeling of it is nothing i want mm. so it's just that let go of that no nah, i'm gonna drop that mm. yeah yeah there's this like when i when i see the the, the allowance there the, the flow that i'm allowing in my relationships and i i turn to focus <laughs> towards money now money like there's so much things that start to get in the way of that to, to and you're in and you're interested in them yeah yeah very yeah. interested in them well you know if you don't have enough money coming in you know bad things can happen oh tell me <laughs> more what let's hear about that <laughs> okay um yeah i better think about that right <laughs> so so that you're interested in right yeah. Yeah. Over here, you get this thought like maybe you're not being respected and appreciated the way you should. Did you see what they did? They 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 didn't even say thank you, right? <laughs> well, that some reason you're not interested. You you sense the feeling of it and you like leave it. Yeah, yeah. So that one doesn't tempt you. This is so interesting, though. This mm -hmm. one's got interest. This is got gets your attention, draws yeah. you in, right? And Sid said, your wisdom is only in a positive feeling. Your wisdom is only in a positive feeling. So now what does that say? My wisdom is only in a positive feeling. So as, as I'm thinking a thought that is the way infinite intelligence is thinking about money. When I'm thinking a thought about money, let's, let's test it. So does infinite intelligence, that being that is me, does it look at money and say, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to figure, I'm, what I know about money is I'll have as much as I want one day. So, is infinite intent now our thoughts, the ones I'm describing are not pure the way it would have it. But the question is this, let's actually contrast. I have a thought like, this is tough. I don't know that I'll ever figure it out. Or, well, it's a problem. I've had other problems, but this will get figured out like anything else will get figured out. Which one has more intelligence in it? Sid said, wisdom is only in a positive feeling. Which one feels better? There's less personal contamination in my thinking of, I will figure this out. Sure, I haven't figured it out for a long time, but I'll figure this out. 
that has less contamination. It feels better than I'm really stuck in this. And if I don't figure it out, like really, really soon, it's going to get real. It's going to be get really bad. That feels worse. It's a more stupid thought. Yeah. It is a less intelligent thought. But here's the thing. Okay, so now you're now there's two thoughts. Which one do you want to think about some more? Mm. Well, this one. Because we are hilarious. Which one did you want to think about some more? Well, this one, because I certainly don't want to be in that negative situation. It's like, no, you you missed the question. One of these has more intelligence than the other. Which one did you want to focus on? Well, like you don't expect me to leave the stupid one alone, do you? I do need to pick that up and start thinking about it a little more. See how funny we are? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's thoughts around money that I don't think are thoughts. <laughs> They're just the landscape of yeah, of thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's it's there. And so there's this whole now having to navigate around those, um, which is effortful. It's a lot of effort. Um oh, yeah. So it was and and really you've got this very good word navigate. I need to navigate around, mm. right? Fortunately for you, you have an inner being locked onto a destination, unmoving. The destination it locks on is what you've created around money. It locks on the desire in that way. It locks on the essence of the manifestation of what you've created just exactly the same way it locked onto the creation of the relationship that you desire. Mm. And it's navigating. It's a navigation system, navigating you around that stuff. Mm. Yeah. There's, there's something that's uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a sense of where um, when you, when you, when you explain it as essence, I'm starting to understand something subtle because I've been focusing on thinking. I haven't, I've been giving that more priority than the feeling. Right. And so when, 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 when I wasn't in a relationship and I was single for two years, I had uh, thoughts, I had ideas of what my next relationship is going to be like. Um, but when I met my, my current girlfriend partner, it, it, it didn't match my thinking, but the feeling was overwhelming. <laughs> and and it's, it, it blew out the whole, all my thinking. It's that's bullshit, right? Like it just, yeah. because, because you get the essence, mm. Mm. you get the essence of it. See your inner being then doesn't give a shit about what you think your inner being holds the true essence that you've been asking for. You mm. cannot figure out what you've been asking for. You think you, well, you know, I want her to look like this and this color eyes and da, 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 da. your inner being is like bullshit, right? <laughs> like, like the clarity you had in the moment of being there where you go, I don't like this and I don't like that. The inner being takes, be, because you cannot know what you do not want without, without an equivalent clear knowing of what is wanted. But you finite are there doing your job. This isn't a criticism. It's doing your job. This is how co-creation works. Mm -hmm. If you don't do this job, nothing would be created. Mm. You've got to be out in the world. Mm. And you've got to be in the world in a full experience of what's in the world. And what you will notice is you like this and you don't like that. That's your job. Mm. That's the job for you to do. <laughs> you And here's the good news. You can't not do your job. Qu frankly, you actually don't even get a choice about it. See if you can get out in the world and not do your job. Mm. You will walk into a coffee shop, the lineup's too long, and you will say, this is terrible what the service is like. They don't really respect 
us for our thing. They should be having, they're unfair the way they're like, you'll do your job. There's nothing you could do about it. You have no choice about it. It's yeah. just you, you are constantly clarifying what is desired. Mm. Why it doesn't look that way is because really how it seems like I'm not, I'm just out there complaining. Yeah, that's your job. Yeah. Be because in order to create, we must discern the thing that is desired. Mm. God only creates what is wanted. The energy of what is wanted, what, what, what more, what is preferred. It's the only thing flowing through you is the, de the desire, it's felt as desire. Mm. And so that is what's discerned and it's unique to you. Like you don't have the same vision and desire of money that anyone else does. You, you don't have it like for what you want to do and how you want to live. It is no one will be exactly like you. It is really fine tuned and discerned. And, and so it'll be sitting there in a balance with work and play and the relationship and everything else in it. So it's completely unique to you. So you, you don't and, and your inner being knows exactly what it is. And they know exactly the way it did with your relationship, the essence, the truth of what that desire is. So it can manifest in that way. And then you see it and it's like, oh, so you thought of that? No, this is like, this is like way better than what I thought of. Yeah. Now, this is where, uh, good to know, Abraham's been asked this question about well, how, if I'm the creator, then what the hell? How come I look at that thing and I go, because the universe will surprise and delight you. Well, because you're so focused, it goes in in little pieces. So you stick chocolate in and then you put some sugar in and then you put flour in and milk and eggs. And then the universe goes, chocolate cake. You go, whoa! <laughs> like you go... What is that? Right? Yeah. <laughs> the universe says, this is what you created. <laughs> this is like what you created. <laughs> well, and yeah. it's a co-creation. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, it's, the energy feels more joyful and quite uh exciting and intense it's delightful it feels it feels really very good it feels really good and then there's you know as i as i keep looking towards money fortunately like in this space i'm i've i've got some distance now with the thinking around money which is really helpful because what i'm seeing now is seeing the first thought that kind of makes it go off misaligns um brings me into misalignment and um and i obviously don't want to go there like i'm, I'm just going to ride this wave of, of source coming through I, I guess the the question now the curiosity where, where my mind's going the curiosity is how how then um i mean this is the first time i'm articulating it so it's, it's quite difficult to um express but there's what's the distinction or what's the the difference between like deliberate creation because because when, when i just allow this flow I, I actually don't know what's going to occur i actually don't know what's going to happen but i have this sense that it's got to be good whatever it is however where what occurs now when it becomes deliberate because deliberate, deliberate creation excellent yeah. excellent question um I, in the Caribbean cruise just happened. Um, yeah, with the, the Caribbean cruise just happened. I had twice, I had conversations with Abraham. My first one there was this question, roughly, the one you're asking. Okay. Um, <clears throat> see, 
what's deliberate about it is you're now you're aware and awake about how this is happening that conscious awareness is now deliberate mm. versus what's going on how come this happened right what's going on it's like yeah that's uh, not deliberate yeah yeah i see i see it's more um deliberate slash conscious creation like conscious of yeah that may be that may be a better word yeah. becoming a conscious creator mm -hmm. right because the baggage around deliberate is yeah. becomes like okay so if i fixate yeah. on this dollar amount right yeah. that that there's a um, a problem with it in language right whereas if i'm being a conscious creator i'm not creating a sleep yeah. right? i'm i'm not creating drunk yeah. i'm i i'm consciously creating here i i am aware of create how creation is happening <laughs> yeah yeah that that i mean we we can debate language but it is it is that it is better feeling yeah yeah it? because it's a conscious the, creator yeah I'm because it, there's less there's less of a of a doing there's more yeah. of just noticing and awareness right. rather than deliberate can be misinterpreted as as a controlling and doing yeah. Yeah. me i have to do something to uh, make uh, it better. i totally agreed which is what inspired that question like mm. the question of abraham came out of this yeah. It's sort of like, mm, is it really deliberate? I don't really, because even listen to the law, right? You get the essence of what you think about, whether you want it or not. Essence, the energy of it. So mm, like, is it really the thing? Like I fixate on the thing. Mm -hmm. um, there is a bit of a, let's not confuse things, but when you go to then Alaska cruise, where I asked a question, Abraham, I think at the end said something like, but don't misunderstand us because we're not taking you away from the actual manifestation because part of what you're here is you turn thoughts to things and you turn thoughts to things deliberately and being conscious of your power in turning thoughts to things like literally manifested things. In other words, when God said, let there be light, there was light. God didn't go, oh, shit. <laughs> Look what I got instead. Right? Yeah. So, so there is some purity in that, right? Very, but let don't, I wouldn't necessarily go there right now. It's good enough to see directionally. Mm -hmm. There's various maybe levels of how conscious I can be about it. But yeah. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, like I can see, I can see the there's, I can see the the gap in understanding when when it gets that deliberate, where the literal right, thing, right. Becomes a literal thing, um, and, and, and risky. Whoa, <laughs> because see, this is the thing about mastery, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay, you can play around with sort of like I don't know they play tennis or what is pickleball I think uses large rackets and a ball right ah okay so you know you can kind of hit things like that but you start getting more and more <laughs> into like a fun... this is the different level of skill and mastery right <laughs> like in that like yeah. thoughts become things right thoughts become things <laughs> it's like thank god they're a little roughly becoming things <laughs> because otherwise if I hate that guy, he could be dead. <laughs> like, like, you want to get a bit of understanding here. Yeah. Or, mm. Yeah. So there's, I'm trying to now take this, uh, you know, um, this, this awareness or this understanding to a practical level so yeah. as i see myself now looking in the direction of creating money 
the essence behind it now I'm, I'm sensing is abundance and freedom abundance yeah like abundance. that abundance expressing manifesting in terms of the money just in, but- and and really it's in terms of because what i really want the essence of what i want is to know my abundance to know abundance in all things mm. um um i i want that feeling of when you go into it and you can you can in manifestation you can ask the question of the desire because you don't don't have to make the desire wrong like you just say oh i want a million dollars okay so great and then all you do is just keep asking the question of why so why do you want a million dollars well because then i could like you know relax a little i'm like too tense and then i feel like i have to okay so you so so the right you'd be like that what like why else like why do you want to feel so relaxed because then 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 i'd feel like free like i just feel free more and why do you want to feel free so i'm really able to do what i love i i really want to feel like that what i'm doing is just what i love i just want to be doing what i love so now you're getting to this real what you're wanting the state of being that you really want which which is like the everything you want is because you believe you will feel better in the having it so everything you want is for that state of being and so what you've got now is the state of being which is a match to a million dollars that's the state of being that's the energy that matches that now it's it is from our finite perspective roughly matching that that's why like the same thing with your girlfriend it's there was an essence to it but it came into this into a form that you couldn't think of and you could not have thought that up so what do I do in the meantime well this is good to know and it's good to know that this vision I have is such a rough estimate Hmm. Right away, I'll relax a little bit about what this is, right? It's like, no, it's a million dollars. And if you divide it backwards, it's 20 clients per da, 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 and you divide it, it's at this rate and da, 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 right? So it's a rough estimate. Oh, okay, it's a rough estimate. And so just like in my relationship, what manifested, as long as the essence is there, I know, here, here's the truth though, in all cases, always, when allowed, what will manifest is far more than you think. It's far better than you think. Mm. So the letting go is like, you, wait, you want me to let go of this? You want, you want me, you expect I'm going to let go of the million dollars, right? Well, <laughs> when you know that in all cases, what manifests will be far more than you think, it's easier to let go. In the meantime, though, if I feel good about that as a million, like in other words, no, I I like thinking about it. I like, I go through magazines. I enjoy this. That's fine. Because see, wisdom's in the feeling. So then you're fine. Just like keep looking through at the pictures and all that. You're, You're totally fine. It's when you say, you know, a million dollars. And I said I'd do it this year, but I, we're already halfway through the year. And then I just, I, you really need to drop that. You, you like, you got to get off that. Yeah. So yeah. do you see the, there's not a rule. There's just a, how's this feeling when you think about that? That tells you, right? Okay, you got, it's too specific. It's too concrete. Back up a little bit. It's like, oh, all right. Well, I don't know. Like, uh, so what, what what feels better? Like, uh, well, I know one day I'll have a million dollars. Okay, we just took a ton of pressure off. Mm-hmm. I I actually know for sure one day I'll have a million. Dollars. Okay, that's took a ton of pressure off. Right? <laughs> See the difference in that? So it's like I relaxed a little. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and. So I can see when we go more general, like Abraham says, uh, less specific, you can get 
more in touch with the essence again and then move forward and then go yeah, yeah. And, and by just, the way that's really good what you're just saying now because here's effortless mm-hmm. when you go general and get in touch with the essence you don't have to do anything mm-hmm. that is going to move you back mm-hmm. your inner being is not sitting there in non-physical just twirling the thumbs it's like this is it your inner being is focused here with you it wants to play and it wants to get out there and it wants to engage and it wants to create it is a creator right when you wobble it's like a rocket right like if if you're wobbling you're dangerous like you're creating crap everywhere right because it's wobbling But if you were to come back and get really grounded and stable, now that it's stable, your inner being's not sitting around wanting meditation. You only get 100 years. So so your inner being wants to get back out there. So once you're grounded in, the inspiration from this will move you. You will be acting, you will be making calls, you will be in conversations, you will be talking to people, you you won't be able to stop yourself. That's how action comes back. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is there's something here because I remember a couple of people talking about procrastination in the program. Like th- this is a big, big one um, in terms of. I don't feel like we understand what's really going on when it comes to procrastination. But what I'm starting to to hear is, um, like Lisa was saying, we tend to associate uh, going back to the essence as non-doing. Like yeah. there's nothing that will occur if I go there. <laughs> All right. Right. Totally yeah. misunderstanding. Yeah. 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 No way you go back to essence and not get out in the world. Yeah. yeah Your inner that's, being's that's, got a hundred years here. There's like Yeah, I'm I'm starting to I'm starting to feel that. When when nothing's occurring, we think we're we think it's because we're in that space when really and truly we still have thoughts that we're not aware of. That's oh expected. when you when you are le, le, this is really good because all creation's co-creation, right? Co-creating. And so you've been co-creating because you're out complaining and saying what's wrong and all that. And now the clarity of what the desire is becomes so clear. And so then you quiet your mind, drift back into essence. Well, but if you're not thinking, what thought remains? If you're not thinking, what thought remains? Yeah, it's like it's, you're, you're, you're now like with no thought or God's thought. It's like you're just God's there. thought. Yeah. God's thought has mm. power. Yours mm. does not. Mm. Yeah. When you're not thinking, there is only the thought of God. Mm. Divide thought. Mm. And in that quiet, that's the thought. That's the thought that comes. Mm. Yeah. There's, that makes a huge difference because... Been so I've been playing around so much in my own personal thought that I haven't even been able to go back to source. I've gone back to the highest that I can in personal thinking. Yeah. And trying to find a purity in my personal thinking. Yeah. But there's something even beyond that. It, it, it is now the the um it's not bad what you're doing. And what you've done is not bad. This is what you're listening for. You're listening for harmony and alignment. Sid said, 
well, basically said that there's no creation without thought. Like there's got to be, right? Like so, and here's the truth of it. You cannot be focused in this physical body without thinking. It's, it's flowing through your breath. It is in every breath. You're, you, you cannot experience here without thinking. So uh, don't go down, like in other words, misunderstanding to go down to the path of, so if I could get rid of my personal thinking, right? Absolutely not. It's a partnership here. All creation's co-creation. You got to. There's got to be the personal mind. Otherwise, you couldn't experience any of it. So what Sid said is what it is is synchronized. When my personal mind synchronizes with the divine mind, and you've been doing some of that, that's what you said. Like, See, you have terrible thoughts that are very opposed. Then you have thoughts that feel better. And then you have thoughts that have almost no resistance at all in them. This is what you're feeling for as a like, and now it's easier to get there when it's quiet. So and it's easier to get there when I've got back to an essence and a stillness. And then I kind of go, you know, maybe this isn't such a big deal. Like maybe this is going to all work out for me. Well, that thought, where'd that thought come from? It's a personal thought. Where'd that thought come from? Came from somewhere very wise. And it was interpreted to you like, relax, will you? It's all going to work, right? Like, so it kind of comes like that. So there is a personal thought still there, but boy, it feels different. And that thought will gain momentum. See, if I sit in that thought, what 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 that thought is, is it such um it's such a minor thought. It's basically this is um when I'm in a resistance state, right? The worst resistance state is this is happening to me. I have no power in this, right? if I'm, a, I could be in an insecure state, I could be more in an anger about this. This is unfair that this happens to me. But notice, by the way, I have way more energy in this is unfair. I think it's all unfair versus the life's just not even worth living. Mm. Nothing's going my way. Do you see that sort of despair compared to one? Here's what we miss. That's an improvement. Mm. You really miss the fact that that's an improvement. That's wisdom. Mm. I was on the verge of life's not worth living. And I went to, I'm just pissed off with everybody and how unfairly I've been treated and how, notice how much more energy comes into that. Now I'm a total victim, right? But way more wisdom here than was over there where life's not worth living. And there's nothing I can do right? over here. There's more. So this sort of now I go to a place of worry. I'm I'm I'm, I'm kind of worried. Like I don't know that things are going to work out. Okay, way less resistance in worry than there was over in an anger, victim state, and in near suicide. Way less uh, resistance. Much easier thought starts to go off to, you know, I don't know. I just doubt it. I doubt it's going to work. I don't know. Things don't really work for me. It's just pessimism. It's not a big deal, right? Like, do you see, you see the grades of that personal thinking, but how, wow. Then eventually you get to a place where there you drop is like, it's a contentment satisfaction. In my latest conversation with Lisa, we point to this contentment satisfaction. You'll hear. When I hit contentment satisfaction, I have zero resistance. Mm. There's no personal thought against anything. Look at my bank account. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> but, but there's no resistance. And it's like, that's what it is. My life is okay generally. This irritating thing is just there. And it's like, but you know what? But mostly I live satisfied. I'm really pretty content, right? So 
And you know what? When you think about it, a lot of people are worse off than me. I'm like, really, I'm content. I'm good, right? Zero resistance. Wow, this is the state you said. Well, once you go back and now there's not personal thought, this energy is now all there is. And this is, this is where the vibration part is. This lifts you because it is this energy that now lifts you. It lifts you from such a contented state into one of hopefulness and optimism and, and, and excitement and passion and a real interest in this to that lifts you. No effort required. I don't need to think these thoughts. I don't need to be positive about this stuff. It's once I hit that state, it just moves with momentum upward because nothing I'm doing would resist it backwards. Mm -hmm. right? So this is that part is effortless. When you hit that part, it all of a sudden, as long as you're like just interested and in noticing the feeling and just keep allowing the feeling, it will pick up momentum. Law of attraction does all the work takes the vibration, expands it, makes it faster with more and more momentum, gathering more thoughts like it, taking it further in the direction of that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to see that it's like without all the attachment of the stories and the thinking that I have around all of this, it's becoming quite neutral. My understanding is becoming quite neutral where it just seems like a level of mastery and nuance. Of Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And you know that from, from dance, they're finite yeah, yeah. moves. They're like yeah. very intricate moves, but it's mastery. It's like in yeah. such detail. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's all you're doing with this. Mm -hmm. Navigating, you said, navigating. Mm -hmm. And the benefit in the navigation is your inner being. Steady, steady, not moving from pure desire, holding the signal. This is the feeling. This is the feeling. So that you can navigate to the feeling. You can navigate to the, you feel it lo losing balance a little so that you lean, change weight a little bit here. You feel, it holds it steady. This is the true desire. That is the true desire. And you can find your way to it. Yeah, yeah. The, the other thing that um, I noticed a misunderstanding that I, I had, which I'm starting to see clearer now after your first conversation with Lisa, at the end, you said, um, because a lot of the procrastination that I've been experiencing has come because I thought there's a desire to create money and um, and I wasn't really kind of um, aware of the true essence behind it. It was a it was yeah. a desire in order to, like, yeah. And I didn't I didn't judge myself about that. I was just I allowed myself to have that desire. Um, however, every time I looked in that direction, it didn't feel great because the thinking that I had. But because I wasn't aware of the thinking, I, I would avoid that negative feeling, and and rather than seeing it as my thinking, I saw it as the direction I was pointing. In. It's like creating money just feels awful. And so right. there, was, there would be this avoidance or procrastination of doing anything else that felt better besides creating in that direction. Um, yeah. And, and then you, you said it's a case of honor. What are you honoring? Like your, your true self that's, you know, um, wanting to create everything that you desire, right? The essence of everything that you desire or you are you honoring a finite thought, a personal thought? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's, that really helped because then I saw, again, a, along with creation happening, creating it all, now there's a slight separation between the feeling because, the, because you know what you see when, when you can misinterpret, follow the feeling. See, because... Yeah, 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 exactly. I was following the feeling. I was following a good feeling and the good feeling was creating avoidance. So it's like I wanted to take action in that direction, but I felt better it. to avoid. Yeah, yeah, See? I get it. So I wanted to kind of um, get them both together. How can I feel good to take, taking action in the direction that I actually do desire? And I think that honoring really helped to distinguish yeah. that. 
Yeah, because it will always inspire it, and that inspiration will always feel good. When that action is arising from that inspiration, it feels great. Yeah, rather than me trying, thinking that's what I need to do. So let me force my ass to do it, <laughs> regardless there of how. Yeah, there, there, yeah, there you go. And then, and then procrastination is obvious because you're trying to do something, your inner being is not supporting. You're tr- so the way you're thinking about that is not supported. That thought is not supported. So you're trying to make those calls with that thinking and your inner being doesn't support it. <laughs> it's because uh, your inner being's s- sending a different signal in terms of that. And so that's what has to be aligned with, right? And then there's no procrastination because you couldn't stop yourself from doing that. Whereas this thing here, you're going, why, why don't I want to do it? Like, why don't I? And it's like, well, because there's nothing behind it. It's wisdom. <laughs> there's no wisdom behind it. That's why you're not wanting to do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, I, I think, let me just check one thing. I think I may, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to hit a call, okay. another, another call. I, I just just spotted the time now, but yeah. So yeah. thank you so much. That was really clarifying and really helpful. Um, I'll, I'll send you the link to the recording. And by the way, look at the recording later and see if it's worth in our living miraculous group. See if it's worth uh, if 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 you think that that would be of value to others to share. Whatever you take a look at it and see what you think. Thank you so much, Dominic. Great. Appreciate. It. Thanks. Bye. Bye.